These were the streets upon which we stood last night to broadcast our stories. Sandbaggers feverishly but confidently had built up the levee another two feet. It wasn't enough. By two o'clock in the morning, the sewer water began backing up. By three, the rising red was pouring through and over the sandbags. Downtown businesses are now awash in destruction. This furniture store, high and dry last night, is a disaster this afternoon. A bank's shrill alarm has been sounding for no one to hear for hours. No officers responding. Cars parked safely out of the way in a free lot pay the price today. Cars everywhere up to their roofs, most unsalvageable. The Red River Bridge is up to its hips in water. We float at river level above the flooded bridge deck. Traffic signals continue to flash. Go. Stop. Well, this is pretty sad for the community. Uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of effort went into establishing these businesses. It looks like they're going to have to start all over again. Sometime later, officials will total up the damage. It will be in the millions, if not the billions. But all the figuring will not take into account the damage to the human spirit. So proud and fierce were the townspeople last night. Today, they have given up.